Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. Over 1,500 of these available for your listening pleasure. And we continue our What If They're Not For You in Relationship series. Uh, kind of some things to look at um, and kind of you know, going in a direction of just self-protection here. If you're looking for kind of a independent skills assessment of how to determine whether a relationship is good for you to stay in or something you need to leave alone, coaching can be helpful with that. Please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will give you the best possible um, way of contacting me or a member of my team. We can go from there. So, um... If they're cold to you or cold to your mindset, opinions, things that you need. In other words, a lot of uh, need for openness and emotional support is something that is valuable in a good way. And again, when we begin to um, need to rely on a person on any emotional level, we need to know that they're on our side and warmth or at least openness is an important part of that. When a person is not open, then obviously uh, building a rapport with them becomes harder and harder, and thus the relationship itself isn't on the best of footing. The next thing is they're not willing to listen unless they're in agreement. Look, uh, you're not going to agree with everything a person says. You're not going to agree with everything a person does. But the ability to move a relationship forward in a good way is at least partially directed by the focus that they have in a good manner of speaking. That is to say that we can begin to know that a person is in our corner if they are willing to uh, kind of be a warrior and listen to us. Warrior meaning push through the emotions that make them think that they don't know everything they need to know and also they are willing to uh, listen. Uh, the next thing is they have a uh, series of habits that you don't approve of and they continue to say they're going to change the habits for the benefit of the relationship, but the changes never happen. Obviously, a person's integrity and the value that they place upon the words that they give is an important indicator of whether or not you can grow with this individual. Obviously, if they say one thing and do another consistently, then the dependability upon the relationship is limited at best because this individual is not being forthright and honest with their intentions as it relates to moving forward into the connection. And so making sure that actions and words are congruent and their willingness to grow and change and expand is also an important part of what's there. Using uh, excuses as it relates to negative habits is something that a person will often do when they don't want to change, but they want to look like they're working on it. The next thing there is uh, to look at gut, gut instinct, whether or not a person believes they have the ability to do everything necessary in order to make decisions as it relates to the value that they have and knowing how to continue going forward in a positive way um, and doing things that are that are there and ultimately um, you know when you begin to know that truth when you begin to be in that space you begin to also understand the value of identifying the things that are there for your own benefit and also knowing what it is that you try to do in nature to begin to know uh, how to make better decisions for yourself in the long run. Uh, making a long walk forward in life sometimes means kind of looking at yourself differently, assessing whether or not the person that is, that's in front of you is capable of meeting the needs that you have, emotional, mental, spiritual, whatever have you, and being honest with yourself about how much you can rely on a person based on what they've shown is an important part of making that decision. So again, making sure that you get into a relationship with a person that is for you and understands your needs portfolio in a way that makes sense for you to continue is an important part of choosing a partner who is in your best interest as opposed to burning out with choosing a partner that is not in your best interest. So hopefully this is helpful. 
I encourage you, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.